Here's how you have something. Number one, ask God to help you perceive what you really have. Now, the natural state of humanity is to be blind to their blessings. For example, if you can see with these eyes, when was the last time you were thankful to God for your eyesight? Because there are a lot of blind people right now that would give just about anything worth everything to enjoy what you take for granted. Ask God to help you see, to truly perceive what it is you really possess. Then number two, you gotta be thankful. That's right, express it, speak it out loud. Give someone credit for what you have. It, it, is it wealth? Is it wisdom? Pennies. Is it a heartbeat, a room with a view, another day to live, a moment or two without pain, a half of a sandwich to eat? Give the creator the credit due unto his name. If you have not been giving God credit, I say this with a gentle heart that's set on helping you turn your life around. You're actually robbing God. God deserves all the glory and all the credit and all of the honor. So number two, be thankful. Be thankful, my brother. Be thankful, my sister. And then number three, stop magnifying the problem. Stop using your words to talk about what you don't have, what you wish you didn't have, how many empty, how empty the glass is. Stop all the not have or talk. You don't have a million dollars. Do you have a heartbeat? I know some dead people that right now that were very rich that probably wish that they had a heartbeat again. One more chance to recognize God's grace before they left this mortality. You're rich, but if you're too busy magnifying the problem, you'll never see the light. Put your, put your hand up to your eye. Do you see the room or do you see your fingers? What's bigger, the room or your fingers? Many people live life only to die, never seeing the promised land because they're focused on the wrong thing. That's not God's will or his desire, but we must perceive to believe to receive. And even God can't break that rule for you. That's how to have.